Hi, I'm Kira from Kira's Home Yoga. This is a strong practice, so we connect to deep abdominal breathing before we flow. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up, look up. Long, slow exhale, bringing our arms down. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, arms down. We bring our hands to our shoulders. Inhale, elbows touch and up to wrist touch. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, elbows touch and up. Exhale to bring our elbows back and down. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, elbows down. Change direction. Inhale, elbows back and up until our wrists touch. Exhale, elbows to touch in front of our face and down. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down. We'll make our way to tabletop for some cat cows. Inhale, look up, belly to floor. Exhale, curving our spine, chin to chest and belly to spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, belly to spine. Inhale, look up. Chest open, belly to floor. Exhale, chin to chest and we look to our belly button. Inhale, look up. Exhale, curving our spine. Inhale back to centre, extend our left leg straight and reach up to the ceiling with our left hand. Exhale, we'll return our leg to tabletop and thread the needle to bring our left arm under our right hand and push into our left hand to increase the stretch. There are other variations we can do with our hand. Place it at the top of the mat or bind behind us. Remembering to breathe deeply. On our next inhale, we come back to tabletop and exhale, check our alignment. Inhale, we'll straighten our right leg and bring it back and arm to ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle choosing the arm variation that works for you. Inhale back to tabletop. And exhale, we'll tuck our toes and hover our knees over the mat. Inhale, we'll bring our right foot forward to the outside of our right hand. Exhale, foot back to join our left foot, keeping both knees up all the time. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, right foot forward. 
exhale back. Inhale, left foot forward, both knees up. Exhale, back. We bring our knees down and make our way to down dog, remembering to breathe deeply. Long, slow inhales and long, slow exhales. We'll bring our tailbone to the ceiling. Bend your knees if you need to. On our next inhale, we'll bring our knees to hover over the mat and exhale back to down dog. Inhale, hover our knees again. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, hover our knees again. Exhale, down dog. On our next inhale, we'll come forward on our toes and make our way to up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we'll take a cleansing breath here. We'll walk our hands towards our feet and fold. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up to standing. Exhale, arms down. And we'll make our way to the front of our mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, hands down and we'll step our left foot back to a lunge. We'll stay here for a breath. On our next exhale, we'll bring our back knee down, untuck our toes and we'll gently guide our right leg out to come over on the outside of our right foot. Breathe deeply. If you feel any discomfort in your hip or your knee, pull back and return to lunge. On our next inhale, we come back, hop our right foot forward slightly and come into warrior one. Exhale, squaring our hips to the front. Inhale, twist and open to the right. Exhale, back to warrior one and breathe deeply. Long, slow inhales, long, slow exhales. Inhale, open to warrior two. Exhale, we'll check our alignment. Knee over ankle and shoulders over hips. On our next inhale, we lean back. Exhale, elbow to knee and arm over ear and look up. Inhale, back to warrior two. And on our next exhale, we'll straighten our front leg, lean forward and come into Trikonasana. We look up to our top hand and breathe deeply. Inhale back to warrior two and exhale we'll bring our hands to our mat and step our right foot back and lower down to chaturanga. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale to down dog.
We inhale and bring our left leg up. Exhale, bring our left knee to our nose. Inhale, leg up again. Exhale, we we'll bring our left knee to our left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, we we'll bring our left knee to our right elbow. Inhale, we we'll bring our left foot to our mat and we'll come into side plank, raising our right hand up, keeping our hips up. On our next exhale, we'll come back to plank and make our way to down dog for a cleansing breath. Inhale, we'll step our left foot forward to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms up, come up to standing. Exhale, arms down. We'll repeat the same on the other side. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor. Inhale to flat back, aeroplane arms. Exhale, we'll bring our hands to the mat and step back with our right foot. We'll stay here for a breath. On our next exhale, we'll bring our knee down and untuck our toes. We'll gently guide our left leg out to come over onto the outside of our left foot. Any discomfort, pull back and return to lunge. Breathe deeply here. On our next inhale, we'll come back and hop our right foot forward slightly and come into warrior one. Exhale, squaring our hips to the front. Inhale, we'll twist and open to the left. Exhale, back to warrior one and breathe deeply. Inhale, open to warrior two. Exhale, check our alignment. Knee over ankle and shoulders over our hips. Breathe deeply here. On our next inhale, we lean back. Exhale, elbow to knee, arm over ear, looking up. Inhale, back to warrior two. And on our exhale, we'll straighten our front leg, lean forward and come into Trikonasana and look to our top hand. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, we bring our hands to our mat and step our left foot back and lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, up to cobra. And exhale, to down dog. Breathe deeply here. On our next inhale, we'll raise our right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, leg up again. Exhale, bring our right knee to our right elbow. Inhale, leg up. 
exhale, a right knee to our left elbow. Inhale, we'll bring our right foot to our mat to come to side plank, raising our right hand up. Remembering to keep our hips up. Breathe deeply here. On our next exhale, we'll come back to plank and make our way to down dog for a cleansing breath. Inhale, we'll step our right foot forward to flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, look up, coming to standing. Exhale, arms down. We'll do a balance pose next. Garan Dasana, or Eagle Pose. We balance on our right foot first. Bend both knees slightly and we'll cross our left thigh over our right thigh and hook the top of our left foot behind our calf. We'll bring our left arm under our right arm and bind, bringing our palms together. We keep our shoulders down away from our ears and our forearms away from our face, perpendicular to our mat. Look to your hands or to a focal point in front of you. Shoulders over hips and hips over our ankles. We'll repeat the same on the other side. Standing on our left foot, we bend our knees slightly. Hold a steady core. Inhale to cactus arms and exhale, we'll bring our right arm under our left arm and bind, bringing our palms together. Breathing deeply here. And release. We come into a squat next. You've the option to move with me or you can stay in a traditional squat. You can move from side to side, placing your hands on your mat or your hands on your knees and do what feels good. We come back to centre and lower our bums to our mat and let's roll our spine down one vertebrae at a time to come to lying down. Next, we'll bring our feet towards our bum so that we can touch our heels with the tips of our fingers. We'll tuck our shoulders back and down. On our inhale, we'll raise our hips and come to bridge. If you like, you can clasp your hands and breathe deeply. On our next exhale, we lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, up again. And exhale, clasp our hands. Inhale, we lift our right foot up. Exhale, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and left leg down. We'll remain in bridge for one more deep breath.
and on our next exhale we lower. We'll do a restorative twist now and tuck our left foot behind our right knee and twist to the right. Keeping our left shoulder down, we look to our outstretched hand. Long, slow inhale, long, slow exhales. Come back to centre. We'll repeat the same on the other side, tucking our right foot behind our left knee and twist, keeping our right shoulder down. Come back to centre. And exhale, we'll stretch our arms and our legs long on our mat. Inhale, we'll bring our arms forward and we'll roll up without raising our feet off the mat. Now we'll twist again. We'll bring our left foot beside the outside of our right knee. You can stay like that or you can bend your leg and bring your right foot to your left buttock. Inhale, arms up and exhale, twist to the left. Twisting from her navel, keeping her shoulders down away from her ears. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Breathing deeply. We'll inhale back to centre and arms up and exhale we'll switch out our legs. Right foot to the outside of our left knee and left foot to our right buttock. Inhale arms up look up and exhale twist and breathe deeply. Inhale, lengthening upright through her spine. Exhale, twisting. We we'll come back to centre and roll to come to lying on our mat. Here we'll bring our legs up and over to plough pose or halasana. You can bind your hands behind. Keep your knees straight if possible and look at the ceiling. Hips above our shoulders. Inhale, we'll raise our left leg to the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Inhale, raise our right leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, lower. Remembering to breathe deeply. On our next exhale, we'll come out of the stretch and come to happy baby, bending our knees and holding our feet at the outside edge. We'll pull our feet downwards. You can rock from side to side if that feels good, or you can stay still.
It's time for Savasana now, or corpse pose, and time to bottle this feeling and relax and allow our nervous system to reap the benefits of this workout and reset. Please stay in Savasana for a few breaths longer if you can. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Namaste.